Hello, puppies and kittens. I am broadcasting from a magical place called the United Kingdom. And although that sounds like part of Disneyland or some such similar thing, it's actually an actual place, an actual kingdom that's called United because every country participant therein all agree with each other about everything. <laughs> There's so much love here. I'm glad that you've come to experience it. It's good. It's good. It's such unite. All right. So you wanted to show me a video. Oh, well, you see. Now, you're aware of an individual known as Matt Powell. He is, if you imagine, uh, what, uh, Reese, Reese is over here. Reese, what did you call him in the last low fruit? Oh, uh, he was. Uh, oh, the, the moldy left testicle of Kent. Hovind. Th that's it. The moldy left testicle of Kent Hovind. Okay. Now he's made a video recently where he called out. Well, more accurately, his wife called out that you're a Satanist. And I see that you have your lovely wife here, so that you two can really give us your opinion on what they have to say about your satanic uh, united temple. Yeah. So uh, what we're going to do is play the video and get your response. All right, brilliant. All righty. Glad I'm wearing my bats. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got I got to pause it because of the eerie music. It, you can just tell that a real serious point's being made here. It's a really good prediction. Music music sells it, right? And, and why is it that these people can never get my name right? <laughs> Capital A R O N R A. Aronra? Aronra. Aronra. That sounds like a car. Aronra. How yeah. did you get here? <laughs> Aaron Ra is full of um, hate for God, and I believe he's a Satanist. I don't even believe he's an actual atheist. Okay, okay. wait a second. You said March 18th, 2021. March 18th's my birthday. Oh, it's a spooky music. It's true. Yeah. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's your turn. Yeah. Uh, so, so I'm full of hate for God. No, I, I'm full of love for truth. And that means, and, and, and the only thing I hate is injustice, which of course includes lies, which necessarily includes religion, and by extension, of course, includes God. God is a lie. And so all these people who assert baseless speculation as if it's a matter of fact, which is what all religions do, they are in effect lying. My favorite quote from, from Abraham Lincoln says that it's, a, it's an established maxim in morals that he who makes an assertion without knowing whether it's true or false is guilty of falsehood. And the accidental truth of, of the statement does not justify or excuse him. If you can't show what you know, then you have to be tentative. You're going to be honest then you have to be tentative. Show me the truth of it. If you can't show me the truth of it, then it is not truth. Mm. And if you're stating that it is truth and you can't show the truth of it, well, then that's, according to Abraham Lincoln, that's lying. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you think that this disposition that they obviously have towards you being, you know, a bad person, a Satanist, you know, you can't just be someone that doesn't, is not convinced of, you know, the propositions that they theologically hold. Do you think it's a defense mechanism in order to justify, you know, the way that they mistreat you, the, may, the way that they think you're going <laughs> to hell? The way that they mistreat me. Yeah, well, they think you're a bad man. You're a bad man, Aaron. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm... Sorry, I'm, honor off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be concerned about how they mistreat me. That's not that... <laughs> That's not the, the the sort of person I am, but I mean they do they do get an awful lot wrong. I mean I don't hate God, I mean as much as you you, you how can you hate a, a a fictional character? I mean, admittedly, I hated Cinderella's stepmother in the Disney movie. I, mm -hmm. She was an evil cunt, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean it's not like I think she's real. No, right? I mean so so the God character, uh, in in Christian and uh, and Muslim. Uh, doctrine is uh, that's an evil villain yeah granted but i mean that doesn't mean i hate him and what they want to pretend is that they believe that i believe in their god mm -hmm. and that i secretly hate their god which is just the most fantastically stupid argument you could make because think about it the only thing that really pisses god off mm -hmm. is when you don't believe in him yep all sins will be forgiven if you but believe but the only sin that cannot be forgiven is the sin of disbelief so if i loved sin Believe in God and sin all you want to and just ask for forgiveness retroactively. You can have it done. But if you don't believe, well, then you've got to be pretty secure in your position. I have to be pretty confident that there is not a God. If I believed that there's a God, mm. 
then I know I'm knowingly damning myself for no reason. No, there genuinely is no God. These people are believing in a fantasy. I think they know it. And so they project onto me their belief system because they can't, they can't even think hypothetically. If they did, the entire house of cards would collapse. I see. I see. Well, let's, uh, let's see how she called it with you. All right. I'll put it back just so we got it. Um, hate for God. I believe he's a Satanist. I don't even believe he's an actual atheist. Okay, well, there's an interesting thing, isn't it? I know that there is such a thing as a Satanist who believes in Satan. I interviewed one. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they managed to, uh, the this, this Satanic Church uh, managed to win a court case in Oklahoma City, and they were able to get the, the Oklahoma City Civic Center to host their Black Mass. Mm-hmm. So they brought in all of these Satanists, and they managed to, to rust, uh, roster 40 people? 40, 4 zero. They're taken over. <laughs> <laughs> and what was hilarious about that was that there were hundreds of Christian protesters outside that were protesting the fact that, hey, you know, we live in a country where freedom of religion, we live in a country with equal rights, and uh, where we cannot you know, openly profess or establish one religion nor prohibit the free exercise of another. You know, it's this First Amendment that the Christians hate so much. So here was this, here was a Satan group that was worshiping. They had their 40 people in there and they had these hundreds of Christians outside. And the funny thing is, is they had hundreds of Catholics and Protestants and Mormons all warring with each other outside. Common enemy, sure, but the common enemy is outside of earshot. So they're arguing with each other and creating a ruckus. So I know that there are some Satanists. There is such a thing as a Satanist who believes in Satan. They're vanishingly few. Mm. They're like, you know, white spotted owls or something. And they're, just, <laughs> they're very, very rare. However, in 1966, the Church of Satan, established by Anton LaVey, declared itself to be anti-theist or, or excuse me, non-theist. So they don't believe in God. They don't believe in a devil. I, I say. 2013, the Satanic Temple was established. First tenet, we don't believe in an actual devil. Satan is a symbolic character, something akin to, let's say, Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. so, or Mother Nature, if you like. Something like that. So that's what they're basing it on. And uh, let, let, let's continue. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, before you do... Like, she's making out like, oh, spooky prediction. I said this a year ago. Christians commonly criticize him and actually call him by the names of demons and stuff like that just from his appearance, you know? <laughs> like... <laughs> Well, it's you grew up in the 70s, if you, if you wore earrings, if you had tattoos, if you yeah. rode a motorcycle, if you had long hair, if you listened to Black Sabbath and Judas Priest, I mean, it's, the, it's the, the satanic panic. I was accused of being a devil worshiper since I was 14. Is that how long you've had the beard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm stoked to be speaking at the first ever convention of the Satanic Temple. And since this is our first convention, and since this is my coming out as Satanist, uh, I must open uh, not by speaking to the fine people assembled in this room, but to the larger audience of the tens and th tens of thousands that I expect to see this on video. I'm not a big fan of evolution or any of its theories, I think. Any of its theories. Hmm. I would love to challenge her just to, to come up with a definition of what evolution is. I find that no creationist can ever do that. They come up with these weird straw man parodies, but they can't actually define what it is. It's a theory of biodiversity, wherein there is never an op option for one thing to turn into another fundamentally different thing. But enough about her getting evolution wrong. Uh, it is the theory of evolution, the explanation of biodiversity. It's much like saying that you, I'm not a fan of atomic theory or any of its theories. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the germ theory of disease or any of its theories. What the hell is it? What is, she has no idea what the word theory means. She doesn't know what evolution is. She doesn't know what Satanism is. She doesn't know what theory is. Yeah. I dare say she doesn't know what Christianity is. I would bet that. There's, there, there is, okay, that's definitely possible. And it's maybe <laughs> probably probable, right? Let's, let's, let's go there. But um, when I see people like this speak, um, like she isn't a pastor like Matt Powell 
And so Matt Powell has had these confrontations with atheists for a long time, correcting him on those views. Whereas I, I would imagine she might have or she might not have. And what's funny for me is that you don't typically see people speak in that way in England because they tend to know, you know, what at least that it's a theory, not that it's evolution and its theories. Yeah. But it's um I don't know, maybe she's a victim of the whole whole religiosity thing as well. I yeah, mean, we, we really can't. we all are, right? We we can't. I mean, much much yeah. as I, I'm an Anglophile and I love your country and all of that, <laughs> uh we, we can't say that, that that the Brits are superior in this. I mean, sure we have more of these kind of waffle headed idiots in my in my land than in yours, but I have encountered your fair share of mind bent idiots. Oh, for sure. Okay. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've met a few uh, young Earth creationists in this country, and and, and it boggles my mind. How what what is what is your excuse? Why do they exist here? Uh, Darwin said that we'll always bear the lowly stamp of our origin. That's oh. the excuse. They come from the Isle of Wight. Okay, they come, they come from the Isle of Wight, which is where I'm from. Fine, but in my defence, we have six fingers. It makes swimming quicker, <laughs> so we're all good. <laughs> all right. I think it's all stupid, to be quite honest. Okay, I hold on a second. <laughs> okay, she thinks that evolution, all of it, is all stupid. Um, it is the one and only scientific explanation of biodiversity accepted by the entire global scientific community from many different fields. All of the best educated expert specialists anywhere ever. And she thinks... All the smart people are stupid mm. and that her and her twit of a husband, who obviously don't know dick about Jack, are somehow more intelligent than all the smart people. All the people in the lab digging up bones. <laughs> yeah. She knows more than them. Because, you know, yeah, yeah. The, 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 Bible, know. the Bible says something about that the, you know, the, 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 the wisdom of the foolish and that only the fools are wise. So this is the kind of juxtaposition they have. Hey, if you're stupid, that means you're smart. And if you know what you're talking about, well, then you're a dummy. Continue. <laughs> I think it's all funny in the sense that people actually believe it. I had an argument with somebody about this topic today where they said, you know, there's no truth to evolution. I'm like, well, it's, there's a number of truths to evolution and there's none to creationism. Let, let, let's go into that. What can you show to be true? I mean, the truth is what the facts are. What can you show to be true about evolution? Well, let's start with the fact that Living things evolve, and their plasticity, their their ability to be manipulated and to be cultivated and so forth, is what our agricultural and livestock industries depend upon, whether they understand that it is evolution that they're invoking or not. That's just one of a long list of facts, things we can show to be true, truths of evolution that we can demonstrate. Yeah. Ever see complex biosystems just poof out of nothing? Ever? Ever see, I, mean, I mean, I've seen rabbits pulled out of hats, but that's kind of what she's believing in, right? I mean, it's just abracadabra, I created as I speak, poof. That's what she's buying into. But she calls demonstrated fact that our sciences depend upon stupid. Yeah. But hocus pocus is smart. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing that gets me. It's, um, and it just makes me think of, if you bring up, it's, it's like if you put mushrooms in the dark, and feed them shit, then, you know, you, you know the saying, right? Yeah, you um, get Matt Pell. You get <laughs> well, yeah, precisely. And it's like, if you don't know any better, then I can understand why this comes across. Like, there's, there's, there's like a dichotomy that runs in me. On my, on my one hand, I want to be as charitable as possible. But when you get people that are um, not very informed on these topics, speaking down and belittling people that are informed on the topics, they make themselves ripe for ridicule. Is it and fair so, to say that she's just not educated? I don't know. Or has she just been lied to all all of her life? She is she is she is she in the dark room being fed bullshit? Yes. Yeah. But, exactly. Yeah. I don't. I don't think any of it is just. There I don't you know are with Darth it. Dawkins <laughs> holding no. up a dark beard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, the image oh, that sorry. they chose for that, by the way, that this is kind of funny. We went to Kamloops, Canada, for. Uh, uh, reason, I, I forget, some some uh, skeptics, atheist convention that, that they were holding up there. And it was a really good one. It was put together really well. Uh, and there was a local brewery that, that was making an imperial stout. 
I think it was an imperial stout. You can see, you can see the beer is black, mm. and it was called Backhand of God. <laughs> so I had to get I had to get a cask of that to share with Dawkins. Yeah, that's good. There's Dawkins right there, as you yeah. said. I like it. I like it. Um, I assume it was fifteen hundred percent, knowing what you're like. Well, you know, it was Canada. So. Yeah, um, one. They, they, they apologized as they gave it to you. All right, let's continue. I don't dote on it. I just I think it's ridiculous altogether. Okay, so ridiculous altogether. How many scientists have invested how much of their life uh, in over these many decades or centuries in, in showing uh, different aspects of this theory and confirming the different truths about this theory? Because there's a hell of a lot here. She doesn't know what any of it is. She thinks it's one, she thinks it's a fish that swims along, an individual fish who swims along and decides to grow legs one day. That's, that's the kind of stupid bullshit she's talking about. So all of these critics of evolution, none of them have an idea what it is. And they have this, I would call it ingenious if it wasn't designed to keep them stupid, but they have this, this means of, of deceiving themselves where they can accept what evolution really is without admitting that what they accept is evolution. That's the kind stuff, right? I've seen Wait, it. The uh, no, the, the kind is just a bastardization. There's no point in our evolutionary history where one thing ever turned into another fundamentally different thing. Mm. And they know that. They've seen Rudy Zellinger's March of Progress, and they've, they've seen. There's never been a point where one, in the whole process, mm -hmm. never one thing turns into something else. Yeah. And they'll try to point to something, but they don't have anything to point to because they don't know fuck all about taxonomy ever. But there's, there's just not a point like that. There's nothing that matches it. So it's a, it, that, that even violates the evolutionary laws of biodiversity and monophyly. But they don't care. They don't, they're not interested in truth. They know that. Matt Powell is a professional liar. He knows everything he says is wrong. He doesn't care. It's a make-believe thing. They want to make believe this yeah. alternative reality. It's like with Matt Powell, I, I am convinced that he knows that he's speaking nonsense. You I, mentioned I, that he's been corre uh, corrected by so many different yeah, people. Put, when put, has he ever said, okay, well, I was wrong about that. No, he doesn't do that. Change his no, position. No, no. Right, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll same be corrected sense. about the same thing yeah, yeah. over and over and over again and keep repeating yeah. what he knows to be wrong. How, however, like for his wife, I'm not sure, right? It could be the case that she genuinely believes this stuff because she's in the presence of people that lie to her, right? Which is which is bad stuff. But when Reese brought up this video and said, right, this will be an interesting one to get Aaron's perspective on, one thing I would have expected by now is for them to talk about the prediction she made of you being a Satanist, when really it's just slagging off evolution. Yeah. yeah. And when she made this prediction that I was a Satanist, I was in fact not a Satanist. Yeah. Well, that's the prediction. Oh, well, actually, yeah, no, she didn't predict you, you are. She, yeah, she said that you are an atheist, not that you will. That I wasn't, yeah. that I am a Satanist and I'm not really an atheist. Yeah, yeah. It sounds, though, like... But, and this is ignoring the mm. fact that we just covered that, that, that the Satanic Temple, the Church of Satan, the most... The, of, of Satanism, apart from a mm. vanishingly small uh, lunatic fringe, they're all non-theists. They are literally atheists. Mm. So you know, it's not that you have to be a Satanist to be, an, or you can't be an atheist to be a Satanist. Satanist just has seven tenets to live by. One of them, don't believe in a god or devil. Okay. You know, bodily autonomy is supreme. You know, there's just a handful of much better rules than the Ten Commandments, which I think was the whole point. Mm -hmm. And so I, re I agree with those. I didn't adopt any beliefs when I decided to, to, to pay $25 for a membership to the Satanic Temple. <laughs> it changed nothing about me. What I wanted to do was to more vocally support their activism in defense of the First Amendment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, I've already, I've already uh, honored or been, been proud of them for what they've been doing for you know, freedom of religion, religious equality, and so forth. But when Texas started banning abortions. And remember, the, the, the religious right are, are wholly against human rights. They don't want us to have any provision of the First Amendment, none of it. They, don't, they want to establish a religion. They want to prohibit every other religion. They don't want free speech. They don't want the freedom to, to gather, to, to protest, to bring grievances. They want, an, they want an authoritarian autocracy. They want a monarchy. Yeah, is this like the, the Trump kind of... That's why they celebrate the Second Amendment so much, so that you don't realize that they're taking away each or undermining each mm. of your rights in the First Amendment. I can just say that I'm glad I'm not stuck in U.S. politics. <laughs> well, yeah. it's an abortion ban at six weeks, just so the comments don't go. Yeah. So, yeah. so when, uh, when the Satanic Temple stepped up, and they became, they looked like they were going to be for a moment before the Supreme Court went belly up, you know, like everybody was expecting to do. Uh, 
I was I was looking at the Satanic Temple as being these are the only people that are actively that are actually capable of preserving our constitutional rights. Yeah. And I needed to lend them support. Now I already have an ordination from Universal Life Church, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> I I have an ordination from the Church of the Latter Day Dude. I'm a Dudist priest. Oh. Yeah. I have an ordination from the Church of the Subgenius, the Church of Bob. Let there be slack. And if you're not aware of that, I'd be happy to show you the videos to support it. Yeah, you're going to have to show me that. It's a hilarious parody religion. Yeah. But nobody cared about any of those. And they're not doing activism. They're no. just like the, the, the Church of the... I went to a Pastafarian event supporting mm-hmm. the Pastafarians, the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Mm-hmm. They had Neil deGrasse Tyson as their keynote speaker. Beautiful. Yeah, and their 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 religious dress is a pirate outfit. Mm-hmm. So if you see me in an atheist event in a pirate outfit, that's why. I'm yep. supporting the Pastafarians. Got you. It doesn't mean that I believe that there's a flying spaghetti monster or Russell's teapot or an invisible pink unicorn. I'm just supporting the people who are supporting my rights to free speech and freedom of religion and freedom from religion, which is a necessary component. I think they really grab on to that you're a Satanist because it, it it validates their religious beliefs that Satan exists. See, he's a Satanist. Look at him. Mm. But I've been hearing that forever. Mm. Yeah. So I've been an, I've been an activist in the atheist community for you know for many years, and people are constantly accusing me of worshiping the devil, right? I mean, I've, I've been told you I've been accused of devil worship my whole life. Yeah. Without believing in any devils, and finally, just okay, they 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 wanted this so bad. There's some people who criticize me. Just you know, I can't pay for a membership to support the Satanic Temple's defense of the First Amendment because that'll mean that idiots will misconstrue that I believe in or worship a Satan. Yeah. Well, I can't help that they're idiots. <laughs> okay, but maybe I can just use that to like. Further amp into this. Fine. That's, that's what you're doing. You get Fine. more views for the Satans. Yeah, so <laughs> in, immediately good. after I, and they didn't even know. Satanic Temple didn't even know that I had signed up for a membership yet. Mm. Two days later, somebody contacts me to ask me to be a keynote speaker at SatanCon. Wow. They didn't even know yet. And then once I made that announcement that I was at SatanCon or, or that I made the announcement at SatanCon, they asked me to come speak in Idaho for an invocation on behalf of the Satanic Temple. Yeah. So another thing to consider is that if people have been calling you a Satanist all this time, yeah, then it's not like this is a special, hey, look, my wife predicted this. It's <laughs> you and everyone else, you know. So Yeah, yeah every, uh, every believer wanted to pretend, one, that I believe in their God, mm-hmm. and two, that I worship their imaginary enemy. Yeah. So, so far, we've got Matt Powell using his wife to be able to say something that people have been saying all along about you, which has always been misconstrued. Yep. And also just reveal that she, like her husband, doesn't really understand evolution, hopefully because she genuinely doesn't understand it, not like her husband who willfully doesn't understand it. Yeah. (laughs) Let's continue. (laughs) I have always thought, even when I was in the public school system, growing up, I just knew I believed the Bible's account of creation and that I didn't believe what they were teaching me in school on it. Yeah, I could help this woman. Yeah. I could, because I've, I've seen how public school grossly misrepresents evolution. Nobody knows how to teach it, right? 20% of our teachers are creationists. The, mm-hmm. few, the, the few who are willing to teach evolution don't understand it themselves. You have to have specific education in order to understand it. I would like to have standardized messages, um, video lesson plans that, you know, that, that, that you know, so that the teacher can take themselves out of the equation and just like put in a lesson, okay, this, is, this explains the concepts. Mm. Because what ends up happening is if you have a teacher who's, who understands the subject and is willing to teach it and all of that, they try to teach it. And then the students are trained by their congregations to interrupt and uh, disrupt the class on, on hearing certain keywords mm. to make sure they don't understand. Because that's their whole point. They want to make sure they don't understand it. Because if they understood it, then... They risk believing it, and they're yeah. terrified of believing it because they're bibliologists. They believe in the assumed authority of this man-made mythology, mm-hmm. and if the book isn't right, then God isn't right. They can't distinguish doctrine from deity. Their Bible is God. They yeah. can't think, well, maybe God exists and the Bible is wrong, or maybe one of the other holy books has some truth to it, too. Maybe they're all equally truthful and fallacious. Maybe no no scripture has it right, but God exists. No. The Bible has to be right. It has to be absolutely right. And if you have that position, you're a bibliology. You worship a book. 
Yeah, well, the, the thing is, is that so I deal with a, most of the Christians I deal with that are interested in philosophy, none of them are creationists. Oh, yeah. Because it's not defensible. Even William Lane Craig is not a creationist. Like, it's not defensible. He's kind of, he well, says he's, he's, he's a, not a creationist. He might, he, well, maybe behind But then he yeah. also says that whenever science contradicts the Bible, that yeah, science is he, wrong. He's done what the Bible does, and that is you provide a multiplicity of statements so that they can be interpreted by the flock yeah. however they want. <laughs> he's, he's got it. He, he was doing Jordan Peterson long before Jordan Peterson. Gotcha. <laughs> but um, I, genuinely, like, I've, I actually feel bad for her, like, because it sounds like she's a victim of a really bad situation of. Like, the upbringing, like, it's just... It's and then to cap it off, she's married to Matt Bell. <laughs> <laughs> and they did present it as a theory, but then they went forward to act like it's a fact. Oh, okay. fuck's sake. Every modern scientific yep. theory is also a fact. Germ theory of disease, it is a fact that germs, or, or we get the, what, what's the alternative word, uh, pathogens mm -hmm. do cause diseases you know mm. cell theory of disease or so cell theory of biology uh theory of gravity theory of relativity atomic theory and so on Did they are what? all demonstrated fact at the same time facts support the theory so the theory yeah. is the explanation yeah. of, it's yeah. a field of study or a body of knowledge it is not and never was some blind ass guess like her belief system is yeah i mean so tell me if i'm mistaken here I, I always thought it was, you have certain facts, as you said, that build up the theory of evolution. Mm -hmm. So some facts might be that you you, you see Pachycetus and you see like mm -hmm. these transitional forms. Mm -hmm. That is just a fact. Mm -hmm. Now you need a theory to explain it. Mm -hmm. So how do you explain that under creationism? Well, they don't really give you a theory, whereas natural selection, evolution by natural selection says, yeah, we know exactly why that that's expected, that's predicted. Mm -hmm. And it comes up. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... Um, so the theory of evolution by natural selection mm -hmm. doesn't mean that natural selection is a theory. Yeah. It means that we have evolution. This is the first mechanism that's been identified for it. Darwin provided also the theory of sexual selection, which is a mm -hmm. secondary mechanism. And then uh, sometime later, other th other uh, mechanisms like uh, genetic drift and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, and even endosymbiosis has now been subsumed into evolutionary yeah. theory. So it's got a lot of different mechanisms being built into it. But creationists don't care about that. They don't want to understand the way things really are. They want to make believe something else. A scientific theory to be elevated to a scientific theory is composed of thousands of facts. Yeah. Like the what you're saying about Pachycetus. Yes. Yeah. There, there are some that will argue that that's not the case, but that's effectively correct. Another way to put it, it would, and this is not the way that scientists would teach you this, but, it, mm. but I think it's fair for, uh, for an illustrative purpose. We've raised the standards of what it takes to be a scientific theory over what, over what we had in like the 1700s, like the theory of phlogiston and the, and the theory of vitalism and a couple of things that were disproved. Now, if you want, you can have a, a hypothesis, if you will. And when you get to a point where you've got so much supporting evidence from every, it's been tried and tested over and over and over again. There's no set limit. There's no determination on when that is. But when it's when it ha has faced substantial critical analysis, uh, for a prolonged period of time and has such an overwhelming preponderance of evidence supporting it without anything to ever contradict it so much to the point that it would be perverse to say that maybe it's not really true anymore. That's when you call it a theory. That's the word theory in that sense means it's a motherfucking fact. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. The, la the last <laughs> thing I'd say on that is that when someone says, um, when someone confuses a fact and a theory, mm -hmm. that to me is the equivalent of so, you know, as a vegetarian, someone will say stupidly, but where do you get your protein? And it's like a level of, of for fuck's sake kind of thing. So I find that if someone says that, they really are not informed at all on the topic. Um, so, and apparently yeah, don't know what protein is on top uh, yeah. of everything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that they teach classes on so-called theory as if it's fact. So I think it's all baloney. It's surprising to me that you, Matt Powell, would dedicate your life to lies with a belief system that is entirely fraudulent, such that you could hold up a compilation of lies and call that truth and dismiss every actual factual truth as though they were lies. It is surprising that your worldview depends on such deception and that your mission literally is to spread those lies. So he looks like a little boy lost. 
So you know, I lost my mommy. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what he's trying to do there. Why would he insert himself like that? So you you didn't put that in your edit. That's him. No. I've, I've never seen whatever that video was. He just, I mean, I would have because yeah. he looked ridiculous there. If I wanted to make him look stupid, I would certainly put that clip in. But thank you, know, thank you Matt Powell, for putting that in there for me. He was doing his favorite thing. Matt, 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 Matt Powell has this tendency. Fair enough. We all got tendencies. But he does this whenever he talks about something he doesn't like. Okay. Isn't that right, Matt Powell? <laughs> <laughs> the Satanic Temple is hosting a Satan Con in Scottsdale, and it is expected to set a record of being one of the largest Satanist gatherings. And hundreds of Christians swarmed outside. So, biggest Satanist gathering. Yeah. Is because that that's, was... that's fake. It could be anything, <laughs> can't it? Yeah, the other ones was 40 people. Yeah, biggest ever. <laughs> it's, it's like saying, how did you do at that sporting event that you did? Came second. Don't tell them that, we, that you were in a boxing fight. Yeah. Just just, just say second. <laughs> At the Saguaro Hotel, signs like, Satan has no rights. Be gone, Satan. Because right behind them is the first ever Satanist convention. Satan Con will run today through Sunday. There will be speakers over the next couple of days. The event is sold out, as well as the Satanic Temple's Impurity Ball tonight at Pub Rock Live. So I'm stoked to be speaking at the first ever convention of the Satanic Temple. And since this is our first convention, and since this is my coming out, coming as, out Satanist. as Satanist. Aaron Ra is full. Wait, wait, wait. So we, we, we talk about how, yeah, was, how Christians yeah. like to, uh, <laughs> to cherry pick. Right? And what, what, what is that? The, the uh, mind uh, quotations. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mind quote, quote mining. Quote yes. Mind. So they, they started with the beginning where I, I said, this is my coming out. And I said, I'm not speaking to the fine people in this room. I'm speaking to the people on the video. Yeah. Because this is our first satanic event and this is my coming out of Satanist, there's some things that the outside public needs to know. They cut that out. What, wow. what, what, what is it that the outside public needs to know? We don't believe in your God or devil. We're all just atheists with a certain black metal concert flair. <laughs> so yeah. I would say, and isn't it funny that you look at all these religions, you know the one that doesn't believe in any devils? Satanism. Satanism yeah. <laughs> and then, then he quote, mind you, with, I'm coming out as a Satanist. Yeah, and it was, e it was yeah, an yeah, echo. Yeah, yeah. As a Satanist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, we know he's going to take that now, isn't it? <laughs> oh. now, now, here's a question. Do you think his poor wife has been affected by his quote mining or do you think she she's in on it does she know as well or is he just saying hey look look at this quote that i found and then she's being affected by it as I'm, well my answer is going to be very i'm sorry very sad i'm not going to be very charitable to her yeah. at all i think yeah maybe she's she's innocent in one respect that she doesn't know how badly she's being lied to but it's i think it's because she's never actually had a rational thought I mean, look at her. She she listened to what she's saying. She has never analyzed her position. She's just blindly assumed the authority that everybody told her to assume, mm -hmm. and that's where she. That's it's a sadder statement because it means, and this is what religion does. I mean, it, they, they they proselytize to you, they indoctrinate and, and inculcate you when you're beneath the age of reason, right? That like the old Jesuit saying, "Give me a child until he is seven, I will show you the man." You can stifle critical thinking. Uh, curiosity, everything, so that a child, in most cases, most, I think, um, they they never regain or they never develop the ability to think critically. Yeah. They can never analyze their own position. I was spared that. My my family had a tradition that but they don't indoctrinate until you get to eight years old. Mm -hmm. Too late. And, and I don't, yeah, <laughs> it, it was exactly too late. I'd already seen cladograms. I know exactly how that was. So when on my eighth birthday, yeah. when my, my mother walked in the room with a Bible and says, this is the absolute truth, my first reading of it, I'm like, no, it isn't. See what it says here? But she's never been able to do that. Mm -hmm. She's never been able to read, okay, this doesn't make any sense. This contradicts that. I guess somebody understands this better than me. I must not be seeing this. That's what, that's what they do. Yeah. They don't recognize it. Which is where confidence plays such a role, which is why the apologists tend to be insanely confident on propositions that experts in those fields are not confident on. Yeah. Because it's all apologetics, as far as I'm seeing, for a lot of them. What it comes down to is, hey, convince me that I'm not justified to have this cognitive dissonance. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, and it is sad that there, there was a lot of people I've seen that they don't care if you've got the facts right. 
-hmm. They only care that you sound confident in saying it. Yep. And to me, it's completely the reverse. I can't, I can't sit in a, in a church. I mean, I never could when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. I would, this guy is telling me things he can't possibly know. And he's just saying, it's not, he's, he's not being the honest approach. He's not saying, you know, I think that maybe this, and the, you know, the reason I think this is because I just, you know, I just have an emotional attachment to this belief. I like to pretend to this, whatever. He's not giving an honest thing. He's stating this as a fact. Mm -hmm. He does not know that that is, a, it's not a fact. It's not, it's not objectively verifiable. Therefore, it's not a fact. They're lying. This is my analysis at 11, sitting through an Easter Sunday sermon. She'll never experience that. She'll never realize she's being lied to. Very unlikely. Aaron Ra is full of um, hate for God, and I believe he's a Satanist. I don't even believe he's an actual atheist. Hate for God, all again. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you don't get this as much in England, mm -hmm. but that's a common claim. Even to someone who doesn't look Satanic, if you're an atheist, you actually hate God. You know God exists. Yeah. Uh, you actually worship the devil. I've been told that. Yeah, that doesn't so that does, doesn't surprise me because I have had, particularly when I respond to creationists, uh, they do say that of me mm -hmm. as well, and it's like it's really really weird because mm -hmm. it's like, dude, I really couldn't care less about your god. Like, are you paying attention? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're totally, totally right. Mm -hmm. Since this is our first convention, and since this is my coming out, coming out as Satan. 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 I believe he's a Satanist. I don't even believe he's an actual atheist. All right, he's just re repeating himself. Okay, so now we know. It spooky, <laughs> nice editing. So now we know yeah, that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. in the Venn diagram, overwhelmingly, Satanist means atheist. So like the, I, I would say safely that the entirety of the Church of Satan and the Satanic Temple are all Satan, or they're all atheists, all of them. Well, it sounds yeah. like, off, is it seven tenants they've got? Yeah. Number one, is basically be an atheist. Essentially. So that's it. So you can say all Satanists are atheists, but not all atheists are Satanists. Yeah. And and, and uh, there are, as I said, there's a vanishingly few bit of trolls out there somewhere who say they believe. Mm -hmm. And I interviewed one and I had great fun with this. I had this devil worshiper and I want to distinguish Satanists who are atheists from the devil worshippers. There's a there's like 40 of them, apparently. But, uh, but I interviewed this guy, and I was, at first, the first half of the interview was praising him for his his uh, his church uh, securing equal rights in, in the Oklahoma state courts. I'm like, no, that was, that's, that's stellar. And I warned him when I did the invitation that because you're a theistic Satanist, because that's the big distinction. Since you're the theistic Satanist, I just want you to know we're going to go there. <laughs> after we, after we get done with the praise, then yeah, we're yeah, going yeah, to yeah. do the skeptical analyses. Yeah. And so when I started when I started hitting him as to why he believed in an actual devil, he rage quit. Oh, you don't challenge my faith. And he, and he ducked and gone. He's learned from the best because that's <laughs> what they do. <laughs> <laughs> So here, the, the one time I talk to somebody who actually worships a devil, he does the same thing that that, that all the Christians do. Mm. You know, run screaming with the fingers in the ears. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna think about my irrational position. That's it. So what she's accusing me of is what I'm criticizing in my channel. It's a, it's an irony, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's almost a Trojan source uh, because the reference that she's got refutes the position that she's expressing. So, but it, uh, I find it so sad. It's cringe, but. <laughs> But I don't like this. Yeah. My wife was calling me up for this uh, a couple of days ago. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, she, she talked about how people are are uh, they're, they're identifying somebody's religion based on what what they look like, right? Mm -hmm. And people are always accusing me, always accusing me of being Satanist just because I like metal, just because I you know I like dark clothes or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. This is a, this is a fashion I happen to enjoy, and and. The Satanic Temple allows me to do that on more on a more or less professional level, which I appreciate. <laughs> I mean, but but I'm prior to that, I got the same thing I would suspect that you got. I used to get accusations of Asa True. What the hell is that? Oh, really? That's Where amazing. Uh, Say again, Asa. The Nordic gods. Oh, of course. No, um, no. I walk around with 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 the hammer. Yeah, um, I I don't need those accusations because uh, I know that it's true. <laughs> and so no one even has to mention it to me they assume it and it just is the case 
Uh, yeah, but whenever I go to pronounce anything from that uh, mythology, sorry, religion, what's the difference? Subscription. Um, <laughs> when I go to uh, reference anything from that, someone from that community will always reach out and go, actually, you have pronounced that wrong. I was like, sorry, did you live a thousand years ago? How do you know how it was Were pronounced? You there? <laughs> yeah, there's a closing thing I want to I want to say on this because it is important, Absolutely. and it, and it stays in the context of this. I mentioned earlier that I was a member of all these parody religions. Mm. And Tucker Carlson said that Satanic Temple is a parody religion too. Hmm. But much to my surprise, the the people who are taking part in that, the participants of that, mm-hmm. they're serious. Oh yeah, no, I can tell from just that, it's so. it's not they they take it serious. That is their religion. It's not like, I mean, oh. sure the, the the Church of the Subgenius they do their X Day celebrations every year, but I mean they they don't really believe that we're all descended from Bigfoot. And space aliens, no, yeah. they, they, but but the, but the Satanic Temple, they, this is their code of of life. This yeah. is the, what they live by, and they, they do take that seriously. So it does qualify. It's not a parody religion. I don't have a religious belief. I'd like to say that I don't subscribe to a lit religion, but I I guess I paid for a one year prescription <laughs> subscription. So I guess yeah. <laughs> my technicality maybe. That, but, but, hang on, hang on. That's like buying books and then saying that you're a philosopher. Yeah, you got to read the damn thing. You got to practice the damn thing. Yeah, and also, well, actually, maybe I'm wrong because a lot of people buy the Bible and don't read it. And they don't so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they, they don't preach. practice. Yeah, 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 that was my that was my statement in the invocation on behalf of the Satanic Temple. It was how many it was in the National Day of Prayer. I mean, how many Christians are completely ignoring Matthew six five? Is it five six? I think it's six five. Matthew six five, where it says that you know, don't be like the hypocrite who goes out and prays in public for people to see them. Pray in the privacy of your own room. They don't read their own book. Yeah. They don't follow it, and they they they, taught, they call themselves patriots, but they're violating the Constitution. So they are the villains, the people who think they're the good guys, the people who also call themselves humble, more humble than thou. Oh yeah, yeah, humble boys. That's good. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's uh, that's the response. That's 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 you. Thank you much. Coming out. I'm glad. <laughs> Very sad. I thought you were coming out as gay. I was going to be like, ah. <laughs> that would be a surprise to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta I gotta say when, when we went when we went to the Satanic Temple, we went to the Impurity Ball, and we we go into this thing, and of course there's Christians protesting outside as there always is because you know they just can't let the somebody else be somebody else. They've They've got to impose themselves everywhere. But when we show up to the impurity ball, we go inside and the music is like a mixture of industrial techno or, and, and black metal. And everybody inside is either a vampire or a, or a, or a, or a witch. That's what it all looks like. Mm-hmm. And she walks in and she says, I think I found my peoples. <laughs> the best shoes, too. Yeah. The, best shoes. Like, <laughs> the best shoes. And so she realizes when we go, to, we went to the impurity ball, and we went to the, the, the satanic event. One of the things we noticed was they have a lot more women in attendance than you typically see in atheist conventions. If it's just mm. an atheist convention, they have a lot more diversity in general. Yeah. So the Satanic Temple appeals to people more than atheism does, because just straight up atheism is just you know, maybe it includes a defense of secularism, maybe it includes a, a, a an adherence to science, but not always. Yep. So like that's what we sometimes go to humanist meetings for. Well. The Satanic Temple is humanism with a better outfit. Yeah. I get it. I, don't, I totally get the appeal. 